I can't believe you are lesson 24 and I started from lesson one. Guys, this is Forex um, tutorials where I am helping beginners, familiar, even advanced traders to be able to trade effectively. So th if this is the first time that you're clicking on this video, kindly you need to go to lesson one. You need to go to lesson one and look for those videos and watch all of them so that you can be able to connect. I have planned a hundred videos for you. And uh, by the time we are the hundred video, I want you to have made this channel to go to a hundred subscribers. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have not uh, liked, make sure you like it and make sure you comment, engage in the comment section below. So guys, we are doing Euro CHF. And I remember last week when I was doing analysis for Euro CHF, I told you this is a monthly trade. And many of you who entered this trade, they are on my WhatsApp again, asking me, oh, I'm in drawdown, can I close? This is a trade for month, uh, it's a monthly uh, trade. And if a monthly trade gives you an entry, you at least patient for one month so that you can see if, if it is to cancel or what next, or if the monthly can break maybe a support area. So this is the monthly uh, chart. Our reason for even buying this uh, pair was this double bottom. It was very, very clear. It is it is very clear. That is the main reason for us to buy a uh, Euro CHF and we are targeting up to half. So half is 9740. Uh, this is Audi CHF. I want us to trade Euro CHF. Why am I confusing? So we have Euro CHF. Sorry for that. Um, so this is Euro CHF. I will still do Audi CHF. So we have Euro CHF. You can see how the double bottom, it is very, very clear double bottom. And um, this is the neckline. And then we have our half. We have our half like that. So we got an entry. We got the entry with this engulf. So the, the market gave us an engulf and we went on a buy. So we had this engulf and we got our buys around this area. So our trade, actually my trade is around here. So for me, when I told you that anytime you enter using a monthly time frame, of course, there are retracement. Of course, you will experience retracement. Not always, but this market has retraced. So far, it has gone down. Uh, with 215 pips, 215 pips, that's the, the, the market that has gone down. So the question is, do we exit, do we hold? That's what many people are asking. Do we exit, do we hold? Uh, what is the plan of this trade? And you need to understand that whenever the market gives you a monthly confirmation, anything that happens in between, you can't know, you can't even tell. So as long as we, we are remaining with two more weeks, as long as those two weeks are not done, I, there is that question I cannot answer because if this trade violates this double bottom, it will become a, it's called what? It will become a cup and handle. So for me, I will take the loss and decide uh, maybe it was not um, a buy. Why? Because a double bottom still can produce a cup and handle. So it might be a cup and handle if they break here. So even if you close this trade, even in drawdowns and you're afraid of blowing your account, the only thing you can do is to close and not enter. Don't enter sell, don't chase this movement. So that because you don't even know why it is selling, you don't know uh, what if they will break. So if you decide to close your uh, negatives or the drawdown, do not re-enter the trade again. So you close and forget about it and you move forward. Now, another thing that I need to, to tell you is that whenever we, we analyze the market, for me, I follow my strategies. My strategies tell me very clearly, if a double bottom has a bullish engulf enter by, that's my strategy. So if this market goes against me, I'll come back and try to see what really happened 
where do I need to tweak my strategy? What should I do different that I I didn't do with this strategy? So with this trade. So as as um as I'm looking at this pair and a lot, even uh, uh, let's go to weekly and see how the weekly candle closed. So here we have the weekly candle. This is the weekly candle. You can see uh, the market has come back to this zone. And even the, the thing is, what was even making me enter this trade, even on the weekly, we had the first break. We had this break. So this happening, this break happening, of course, you will know buyers are in control. So this trade was not taken out of ignorance. If the market drops, you need to ask yourself, are they, is that, is it that news affected this trade? So there are so many questions that may affect such a trade to go down. And again, nobody's 100% accurate. Everyone, we come here with the hope of making money. So when we are not making money, there are questions we need to ask ourselves. What different could we have done? So we can see the market has broke up and this market has broke down. For me, what I believe is that the, the, the weekly candle here will, will it is the like everything for us. We need this candle, the next candle, the, this week coming, that candle is what will give us a hands up of what Euro CHF will do. So for me, I'm still bullish, even if I'm on a, uh, I'm on a drawdown. If you, if you placed 0 0.01, you are negative $20. So if you have a thousand dollar account and you have negative twenty, I don't think why you should not have you should have sleepless nights. And that's why I have said, anytime I give a signal when we are learning, your purpose first is to learn and understand. So don't over risk. When I say Euro CHF is a buy, don't go and put one lot or or how many uh, fifty trades. No, just put one trade as you follow it around. So I will. I want to give entry for for other people. Uh, so if you have not if you have not traded Euro CHF, uh, I don't know. I, I can't tell you to buy because even for me, I don't know now what next. I'm confused because the market is saying bullish. Weekly is saying bye bye. And then the last two weeks when the candle, the market started the last two weeks, the market is bearish. So now if you have not traded Euro CHF, for now, avoid it until I see the next candle here. So let's go to AUDCHF because these are the two trades for monthly. This month we are only holding, uh, we are holding these two trades. So when we come to AUDCHF, we have this clear double bottom, and then this is our half. So the market is going up to there, and we had a bullish angle. So we had this bullish angle. You can see it clearly. We can see we had bullish engulf. So that is what made us to enter that trade. So the market after the bullish engulf, the market has gone down with how many pips? 199 pips. So the question is, will the market continue to, to go down or this week will the market go up? So again, when I came to weekly time frame, you can see on the weekly time frame, the market had broke a resistance area and it was going on a buy very well. So at the end of the day, the monthly when it tells you to buy, you have to have two minds. If I'm on a smaller or tight account and the signal is monthly, just decide not to re-enter because you cannot, uh, there's no way you can escape um, retracement. So this is a double bottom. Can you see? Can you spot that double bottom? So the double bottom on the weekly is the one that will give us this the candle that will close this week is the one that will show us if ODCHF has accepted the uh if ODCHF is having a double a confirmation entry. So we wait. So I don't know how the weekly candle closes, but if it closes breaking that half automatically 5790 automatically we are on a, we are safe for that buy, you can see. So that's 127 pips. So that is what I'm saying. If it, if it, 
if it breaks that half. And you can see that double bottom is still available on the, it is still available on the daily, but we are trading it. And the market will go back to, this is where we entered actually. So the drawdown that you have been taken are from our entry position is like $111. So if you had 001, again, you'll be taken how many pips? Like $10. So Audi CHF and Euro CHF for me, I'm still thinking this is a buy. It's just that the, the monthly time frame has a lot to deal with. So you can be frustrated here and there, but still I'm on a buy. But the way the market will close now this coming week, I will get so many, many conclusions and I'll know what to do next. So I hope I have answered all the questions. I will never leave you hanging. The only thing I will not allow is you to ask me, do I close? First of all, you decided to enter that trade. Yes, I can tell you it's a buy. Yes, I can tell you Euro CHF, Audi CHF is a buy. But you need to understand my work as a trainer is to tell you, you see this, it's to encourage you even to enter, to be entering these trades. So when I tell you this market is a buy, all I want you to have is confidence and even not to feel like, oh, I have lost the money, or oh, I was wrong, or oh, no. You don't need to start condemning yourself. This is market. You can be right today, tomorrow you are wrong, and life moves forward. So if you enter your CHF and your CHF, either you're in drawdown or you have lost money, life still moves forward. Money is replaceable. The only thing that you can't replace is when you lose your mind, you lose your peace, you lose everything about you, lose your soul, you lose your health, those things are not replaceable. But money, there is nothing like money is replaceable. You can lose a thousand dollars today and tomorrow God gives you another money. So let's not focus on, oh, we are losing. No, let's focus on what are the lessons we are learning and what can we do to better our chances. So for me, I'm still standing that Euro CHF and Audi CHF, they are by until the monthly candle closes and I'm proven otherwise. And even if I'm proven otherwise, I will be here to learn and not to repeat that mistake again. So I hope I've answered Audi CHF and Euro CHF. Comment down below if you had entered those trades, if you had if you, en you entered and closed, if you entered bed money closed, just comment down below. I want to know who I'm dealing with so that I can be able to, to project. So guys, I am doing so many uh, other analysis so watch out on other analysis and i hope we will be we'll make money this week i hope we'll make money this week all the best guys and um make sure you like subscribe and comment thank you bye bye